In this tutorial, we will be looking closer into groups and how to add a group and even why sometimes it's better to create more groups than just one. As you can see, we are already at our groups page. Um, this page will contain all of your groups and you will be able to see all the screens that are assigned to your groups. In the top, you find your standby group. This is a temporary group for screens that you don't want displaying anything. You also see my standard group, which has the welcome playlist assigned as the base playlist. To assign your screens to a group, you simply drag and drop your screens down into the group. And then you hit the publish button in a few seconds you will see up in the right corner that both the office and the reception screens are published. Now, if you were to display different content on each of your screens, you would have to create multiple groups. You could do one group with two screens, or one group with seven screens, another group with a hundred screens. In this example, we will create one group called Office and we will assign the playlist called Office Content. Then we will create a second group. We will call this one Reception. And we will, of course, assign the playlist called Reception Content. Now, when this has been done, I have two groups. I have two screens and you can simply just drag and drop your screens to whatever group you want. Remember to hit the publish button, otherwise the player won't know that it has new content to be displaying. So as you can see now, the reception group has uh, one screen, the office group has another screen and both of these groups are uh, linked to different playlists. The last thing I want to show you is how to remove your group. So hit the schedule button on the right side, then the remove button and you're good to go.